Hello, friends. On behalf of the Squatch crew, I want to welcome you. This is definitely a special video because it has to do with a special installment that I've been waiting on for quite some time. Flex Armor Roof. The Flex Armor Roof. It's a sprayed roof um, that you can get on not only motorhomes, but all different types of campers and even uh, horse trailers. I was told by the gentleman that did ours uh, that they do a lot of horse trailers because of the R value um, that helps keep the trailer cool. Uh, what he told me is that this roof has a R value of 10, and so it gets quite hot in these horse trailers, and so they've been doing a number of horse trailers also, so just keep that in mind. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the roof here in just a second, uh, but if you can look here on this top right here, that's actually continues from the roof. It wraps around and it goes all the way down the side on that top corner. It goes all the way down the side and same thing over on this side right here. If you can see that, um, I got to get my finger out of the way, but you'll see a, a weather strip in there. And it's on top of the weather stripping all the way down to the end here. And then it just hooks right back up. And so, but what I'm going to do is, uh, let me show you the other side here. Right here, right there is where it continues behind the awning on the weather stripping and just hooks up there. But let's go on up to the very top and I'm going to show you what it looks like up there, okay? Okay, I'm right back here on the ladder. And if you'll notice, there should be one thing that jumps right out at you. This stuff is thick. Now, I've all, I've seen it on the, some of their advertisement that it is as thick as three quarters stacked up on each other. Now, what I did, if you'll notice on the screen... I put three quarters and put it right up to it. And lo and behold, it is exactly <laughs> the thickness of three quarters. And so I have no idea how they keep it so uniform, but that's amazing. But you can see right through here, if you'll just notice right between the awning and the top of that motorhome, it is wrapped around the side of it and it goes all the way down. Nice, crisp, and straight all the way down. It is right over that weather strip and they did an outstanding job. And so that's what it looks like on the very back. This is some thick stuff. This is not anything cheap. Okay, now I'm on top of the roof here. And uh, what they did is I was under the impression that they were gonna remove all the TPO roof. Now, they told me because of the type of TPO that I have, it's TPO felt. They said that they had to leave part of the TPO on here, but they did cut away all the components that is on top of the roof. They cut away, they cut around it a good portion, and uh, and then they sprayed on the um, flex armor over top of it. And so you can notice that if you'll look like this vent right here. If you notice that line there's a big square that goes all the way around it. And it also, let's see if I can get it. If you'll notice right here, line, line, and it just goes straight all the way. And then right around this, it goes straight and then up. That's where they cut it away. There's no TPO underneath this, this right here. They said they, the um, flex armor needed something to adhere to and uh, but they actually cut away. They said pretty much everywhere you have a transition, have a transition where it's roof and then it transitions to a component, that's where um, they have cut away at. And so this um, seam right here would be what they call a transition. So all there's no there's no TPO roof um, a, a good little ways from that. And so the vent pipe they cut away around that. And so, but you can see that they have overlapped, that they have overlapped. Now, what I'll do from time to time, I'll show some before pictures, before I did this. And um, I'll, if I can find some, I took some several days ago, 
But if I find some, you'll see some pop up on the screen. If not, you'll just have to forgive me. Um, but I do know that I did take some before shots. And so now, uh, what is new on this roof? Now we did buy an AC unit, so don't consider that part of what they normally, they don't put you in a brand new AC unit, but the vent covers, the vent covers and the vent, the vent lids, they put new. So that's new. This is new. The refrigerator cover is new, and the vent pipes at the very top, those are new. So they do put in Max Air vent covers. That's all part of your price. And so all that is new. Now, Sandra and I bought a new AC. We bought a Rec Pro, and uh, because there's certain features about it that we were interested in getting, there was nothing wrong with our old AC unit. We just we wanted to try something else that was quieter. And so we'll do a video about that later on how we feel about it. But they installed it for us for free. Um, Flex Armor uh, installed it for free. They didn't charge us anything. Now, I can't say all Flex Armors do that, but the, the Flex Armor and, um, and RV Roof Greensboro, North Carolina, they installed ours with no extra charge mainly because they told us they're going to have to remove the AC unit anyway to do this. And so they put new seals down. Now, so if you have an AC unit and you're getting a flex armor roof, they will take your AC off and put a new seal underneath that. And the guy that um, that we talked to, Eric, um, he told us that they recommend every five to seven years that you do put a new seal on your under your um, your AC unit. And so, uh, very knowledgeable fella. But what I wanted to point out also about this um, skylight, now he gave us the choice. He said, we can either, now you guys may hear our cat <laughs> meowing. Alex, just hold on. I'll be down there in just a little bit. And <laughs> so anyway, um, the skylight, he said that they can cover the complete thing. He says what happens is um, the actual flex armor that he puts down is gray. It's a, it's a dark gray. And um, the final coat that goes on is this white that you see. It's a UV protectant. And that's what he puts down. He said that if a tree limb was to hit this with the flex armor on it, it wouldn't break it. But he says now because we did not want that covered, if it does break and we have to get a new skylight, we're going to have to bring it back to them so they can cut it, put it on, and then spray around it. And so that's the only thing. Um, we didn't want to lose this light that this thing gives gives off in the bathroom, so we just left it like it is. And you can got you guys can see they did an absolute pristine job on that spray. And so, but uh, at any rate, the um, this uh, also they can remove anything that you don't want on your roof. Now I had a wind guard here and a Siri antenna. Never used it in three years. Um, ever since we've had the motor home. So I had them remove that. So they removed that. So that is, that looks absolutely great right there. But you can see, again, you can see where they cut away. They cut away um, and to put this uh, flex armor down. So there's no TPO where you see those lines right there. And so, and then here's the front seam, which seems to give so many people, you know, a hard time. I think it gave us a hard time because I was pretty OCD on this, keeping this thing spot sealed. And we still discovered a tiny little leak over somewhere on this side. And so, but they did overlap it and they came. Ah, I'm trying to give you a little visual on how far they came. And so I'm five foot seven. I don't have a gigantic hand. And so, but that gives you an idea of how far they came past that. And so, um, guys, as far as I'm concerned, it would possibly take a crowbar to get this stuff off this roof here. It is, I noticed a, um, a significant difference just walking on it. It's extremely thick. And so, but he said, now, as far as weight, how much weight did it add on to the RV? He said that it adds about a half a pound per square foot, a half a pound per square foot, square foot. So he said for our size, 
um, motorhome, it added about 74 pounds, and that's minus the stuck the components that they took off, which it was just a wind guard in a series, so it wasn't much. And so, but um, I'm just extremely impressed. He says we can wash it with whatever we want to. Dawn Lish liquid soap, he says there's no special um, wa uh, soap that you have to use on this material. You can use whatever you want. He says you don't have to do anything to it at all. No maintenance whatsoever. He says this white down here, that is your protective coating. Before I used to put down, I used to take a, a sponge, sponge mop, and I would sponge mop the UV prote protective coating. That's stuff that you, you would get at your camping stores. I made sure I always did that, usually about twice, three times a year sometimes. And uh, But extremely um, impressive, uh, to say the least. It is, um, if I had this out in the sun, you probably, it look, would look like snow. This is just uh, really uh, an extreme bright white. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else. As far as the uh, the cost um, here in North Carolina at the time of the video, um, which would be uh, 2022, um, the cost that we were told is $220 um, per linear foot. And so we had 18 and a half linear feet. And for one, I'm gathering they probably took off um, any type of linear footage for the components that was on here. So that was our price. The grand prize, the grand prize, <laughs> which it is a prize. The grand price um, that we spent on this was $4,354. And so... Uh, Again, guys, I am extremely happy. I will put a link in the description below for my YouTubers um, if you want to check that out. Um, guys, I can't think of anything else right offhand. Um, again, the R value on this is a 10, is a 10 that I was told. Um, he did tell me that it would help insulation on the inside as far as, you know, if we're keeping it hot, keeping it cold, it would help with that. Um, as you can see, I'm going to see if I can get a shot going down the side here so you can see that. Oh, here we go. Can y'all see that? I hope the camera's picking it up, but it goes right around, right around and all the way through. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a seamless membrane and see if I can get a close up, kind of show you the texture of this stuff. You can see it. That's what it looks like. Um, it has an odor to it. We just had ours done, uh, like I said, this week. It took them three days to do it. And, uh, guys, I, I tell you, it, <laughs> I really can't... Really, it, it was, it's hard to really put into words um, exactly the difference walking on this. I mean, it adds structural integrity to the roof. Because it's not only on top of the roof, but it wraps around both sides. It adheres to the metal on the front and the back. So it kind of just, it's like it just grips. It just grips the top of the motorhome. And so, um, you know, those of you that's had to crawl up on your uh, motorhomes and spot seal and stuff like that, I've redid a roof before on all the sealants. It's a lot of work and a lot of headache. And again, you got to constantly be monitoring the thing. And so, because when you put your sealant down, then the sun gets a hold of it, and then you get little bubbles and stuff like that. Um, the solar power hookup, that's how great they did around it. They went all the way around it. And so, these dark areas here, that's the actual color of the material that sprayed down on the roof. It's that dark color there. And so, they did absolutely superb and so here's the ladder now you might say oh there's a little air area no that's just where that uh uv protectant didn't quite cover it all that's just the darkness of the uh the spray and so lifetime warranty whenever they sent our warranty in the on the email it had everything about our motorhome and it was attached to the VIN number. So if I sell this RV to somebody else, 
that warranty transfers over to the new owner. And if they sell it to somebody else, then it transfers to the new owner. It's the lifetime warranty of the RV, as long as it's in use or has an owner. And so I had somebody say, who gets to say what's the lifetime of a warranty is? Um, I just, I guess if you, as long as you've got it in use and you have an owner to it, the, they'll, um, they're so confident about the, uh, the system that they'll guarantee that warranty. And so, um, I guess that's about it. And when they emailed that warranty to me, um, I, it was printable. It was a printable, uh, warranty to it. But, um, again, I'm very happy with it and I will update y'all yearly tell you about it. And so let's see how long this thing lasts. I think I had somebody tell me they've had theirs for three years and no problems and it's just as beautiful and they love it. And so, but guys, I do hope you appreciate this and I hope it helps you out. Um, I know it was a bit long, but guys, when it comes to this and you're going to spend a lot of money, you want somebody that's going to at least show you what it is and detail it. And that way you can make your own decision. Is this something that you want to do? But don't hesitate to email these folks and to ask them and ask them all types of questions. That's what they're there for. And so, uh, but guys, I am going to let you go. We are taking our first trip tomorrow at the time of this video. And uh, we're going to be boondocking um, at, a, at a place that is an ostrich ranch that is on Harvest Host. And so uh, we'll... Uh, share that experience with you um, right after we get back from the trip. But you guys take care. God bless you. Be safe out there.